What's up guys, Bodie Davison back with another video for you. So today's video we're going to talk about VAs or virtual assistants. Now a virtual assistant is, um, oh, well first off I should say, why, why does anyone hire a virtual assistant? And today we're going to be talking about Shopify still. So you can hire virtual assistants to help you run your Shopify store. So if you have the app um, Oberlo, for instance, you can give limited access to your store, which I'll go over in a second, to your virtual assistant, who could be like these guys here, onlinejobs.ph, could be in the Philippine, like um, a Filipino worker, and they can work for like two or three dollars an hour. So what it does is if you if you're getting a lot of business on your Shopify store, it can be a lot to keep uh, you know fulfilling orders, dealing with customers, all this sort of stuff. So this is obviously for advanced people. Once your Shopify store has taken off and you're really starting to you know kick some butt, this is when you would look at hiring a virtual assistant. Um, yeah, so it's not really going to matter too much to you to pay someone two or three dollars an hour if you're making you know a lot of sales per day. So let's just go over this. I'm not going to show you my actual Shopify store. I'll just show you what you need to see here though, using a bit of Google. Um, yeah, if you go into your settings and then go to account and then you can add staff member, see it just says here, and then you can add your staff member. When you, when you add your staff member, you enter their e like name and their email. And then um, there's a little box where you can click uh, to not give them full permissions. If you were to give them full permission, then they can access everything. So your credit card details and everything. Obviously, you don't want someone from the from overseas, no matter how much of a bond you get with them over the years, um, to know all your credit card details, etc., and be able to ruin, like pretty much take your store off you. So um, you can actually select which areas of the store you want you want them to be able to have access to. So the things that you'd really want to um, let them access would be uh, for orders, so they can fulfill orders and see orders, uh, to contact customers, obviously that'd be a big one, um, your products, and then applications as well. And then um, the reason you want, to, want them to be able to use applications is obviously because Oberlo, if you don't know what that is, that's like a, you can import products straight from AliExpress to your store and you can also fulfill orders by the push of a button. Um, it's very easy. I'll, I'll give a demo of that later down the track. But anyway, if, if you have a virtual assistant and you have them working for you, you definitely want to give them access to your, um, to your app so they can fulfill orders, etc. That's why the whole reason you would be paying them. So why, why would you hire a virtual assistant? Well, if you're fulfilling so many orders and so flat out, you don't want to be doing this all day. Like you're better off to hire someone, especially when you can get someone so cheap, like two to three dollars an hour. You're never going to hire someone locally to sit on a computer and fulfill orders all day, even if they've done it on their phone. Um, they would want too much money, so that's the whole point in outsourcing to getting a virtual assistant. So let's just go over a couple of things here. Yeah, so that, that shows you that part. So onlinejobs.ph is one of them. I haven't hired anyone off here, but I've heard really good things about this. And then all you would do is go post a job up here. And um, we'll even click on that <clears throat> and go through. So yeah, before posting a job, oh, I'd have to create an account, righto. So I'm not going to go through that at the moment. Um, so the other really, really good place that you can get uh, virtual assistance, and this is one that I've hired before, is um, off Upwork.com. So Upwork, this is the, yeah, you can, you can post your job on here as well. Um, I think I would need to sign in, but let's say, I don't know, I won't say AliExpress, say Fulfillment. Is that how you spell fulfillment? It might not be. That might be some terrible spelling. Um, virtual. Oh my God, I can't type today. What is wrong with me? 
and then you go describe your project Roto. Have I done this the right way around or did I need to enter it up here? Hang on, this is where I should have put it. Shopify. Why do I feel like that's not how you spell fulfillment? Um, yeah, anyway, here we go. Post a job. This is what I was looking for, sorry. Uh, so I would have to sign in as well. Yeah, righto. Well, all right. So I just had to pause it there so I could actually sign into this. Um, <clears throat> so you go post a job on Upwork here. Then you go... Uh, what would it be in here? E-commerce development. Can't remember what I've done last time. Sales and marketing. Um, let's just go e-commerce development. I think that's what I've done. Yeah, so then obviously you're going to name your job. So... By the way, this is we're, we're doing this little tutorial for um, Shopify. You can literally post jobs for anything. Um, same with, uh, if I go back over here, same with Fiverr. Fiverr is probably the craziest place for that. But you can literally post jobs, like you can post a job for anything, like get people to do stupid things for you. Um, there's all sorts of crazy stuff on Fiverr. But um, yeah, Upwork is a bit more serious and you'll get a like more serious job applicants and um, better quality of work. So that's why Upwork is where you want to go for a virtual assistant. So let's go Shopify uh, virtual assistant. Yes. Um, and I'm just obviously, yeah, I'm not going to write all this out. But yeah, you would describe the work that you want. So um Order fulfillment, order fulfillment using Oberlo, and you know, yeah, you would fill this out. Uh, then you could drag or upload uh, project files, so you could have a video, maybe with a a short video showing people how to do what you want them to do. I think that's what I done last time. Um, that was quite a while ago. Uh, then, yeah, you could have one-time project or ongoing project. Um, choose whichever one of those you want. I want to hire one freelancer. You're best off to start with one. Uh, where are you in the life cycle of this project? I have specifications would be it because you're running your own store. Are you experienced hiring for this type of work? Well, no, you wouldn't be if this is the first time for you. Um... Well, that would be English for me, obviously, with the language. Which software frameworks do you prefer to use? I'm not even sure what that means. Enter skills needed. So, yeah, you would just go through here with, um, like, see how they've already got Shopify. This shows you how often people um, hire Shopify assistants on here. It's actually one of the things straight up. Um, yeah, and then you go, how would you like to pay? Um, to start off with, I would pay a fixed price when I'm advertising the job to, just to have like, I would pretty much have a trial period with them to see if they're any good. Um, intermediate, this is showing for, um, this is showing for people in America that their sort of rate, but you can get cheaper than this. Sorry, my alarm's gone off again. Um, yeah, I would always, I would never go entry level because you don't want a complete beginner um, mucking around with your store and dealing with your customers, etc. That's that's never going to be a good idea. I would go, yeah, intermediate or even advanced. Um, how long do you expect this job to last? I would say, yeah, less than one month to start off with. Just give them like four weeks, see how they go. Um, and then, yeah, I would say less than 30 hours a week or I don't know yet, but yeah, you guys are getting it here. Obviously you can fill all of this out. Um, I'm not going to go the whole, through the whole lot, uh, screening questions though. This is an important one. So I would ask if they obviously 
have any experience with Shopify, then you can add questions as well. And then, um, yeah, create your own questions and just keep adding some questions that you would want them to ask. Uh, cover letter, cover letter. Yeah, I would have them write a cover letter as well. And then anyway, then you can obviously post your job and then you'll get replies with people, um, that want to get hired for the job and you just go through it and then start talking with them. If you end up hiring someone, I would, I would, um, either do a Skype call or yeah, some sort of call with them so you can chat to them and just get like a general feel for them. Um, then also I would have notes prepared on questions I'd like to ask them and yeah, just generally you want to be able to train them. That's, that's the main thing. You want them to do things the way you want them done and yeah. So anyway, that's for Upwork and then same deal for onlinejobs.ph. You could, yeah, post a job on here. It's very much the same sort of thing. You're just going to go through and fill all that out. So this is obviously for people that are more advanced and uh, like along their dropshipping journey. Um, if you have any questions on this, leave a comment below and I'll be sure to get back to you and I'll see you guys in the next video.